Well, well, well. Good morning to you all. This is Privateer FX coming at you on Election Day in America. Will the Republicans keep the Senate? This is the key question, it seems. And as far as we're concerned, uh, there's two ways to trade this. If the Republicans uh, keep the Senate and somehow win the House, which I guess is a possibility, you want to buy some dollars. Uh, for us, the choice is Euro dollar, mainly because this 113 level, which is now turned into a very key point for the fourth quarter, will come into play. So if the Republicans win the House and the Senate, you sell a Euro. And then if the Democrats win the House and the Senate, we suggest you sell dollar yen. Two separate trades there. So if the Reds win, you're buying dollars. Probably buy some stocks if you want. If the Blues win, you're selling dollars. You probably sell some stocks if you want. Always going to be tricky on this, um, but you just have to follow it as it goes. Um, I guess the first exit polls are going to be coming out from the East Coast late afternoon, and then uh, things should become clearer heading into sort of between 6 and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Although the, way, the West Coast obviously is not going to finish voting uh, until 9 p.m. So, but usually between 6 and 9, between the exit polls and between the information that we know from the East Coast, uh, you'll be able to formulate a plan. This is a pain in the ass, obviously, for all of us here in Europe. Things sort of kick off at midnight, and then the question is, do you want to uh, stay up and trade this? There's two solutions to that. You either stay up and trade it, great, or you don't, which is also just fine. Um, there's always going to be other trades, there's always going to be other setups. You don't have to uh, you know, bet all of your eggs on one outcome or setup or trade. There's an equal chance, I think, that they split the House and Senate, and then it's very unclear what the trade is. Um, as far as stocks or as far as dollar. So, but the key with all this, so you don't have any regret uh, or you overcome the fear of missing out, is to just get it through your head today what you're going to do. Are you going to trade this or are you not going to trade this? And then when you trade it, be committed to it, get your rest, <coughs> change your schedule, do what you need to do um, to be right for trading during hours that you normally don't trade. Not really much else to say today. Um, RBA statement was mildly hawkish, so as he's floating up teensy tiny bit, but um, as you can see, there's not much really happening. 72.15 is really no great shakes, up 15 ticks. The cash rate's still one and a half uh, in Australia. We don't really have any um, any interesting releases today economically. We have the, the European PMIs. I guess some people find those mildly interesting. I, I don't really care about those. It's all about the elections today. Um, so spend the time. Write it down in your journal. Think about it. Think about possible secondary repercussions, secondary levels, um, and make a decision on what you're going to do. On a non-FX, non-dollar note, we are looking at these BTPs as we always are. Um, you know, Europe's pressuring Italy to redo their budget. We think there is going to be some sort of minor redo on the budget. They're going to make some sort of superficial changes. 
this may lead BTPs to pop through this sort of 122, 122.99, 123.20 resistance. Um, but we are firmly in the sell BTP camp. Uh, this won't end well for Italy, uh, nor will it end well for just global bonds in general. And so if you're bearish global bonds, why not sell the weakest of the lot? Uh, it's kind of the way we we are approaching things. A lot of people are talking about the supply out of the U.S. this week, 1.3 trillion. Um, bonds everywhere are going to have a hard hard time climbing higher. We are in what we consider a very serious bond bear market, so selling high ones is just sort of the way forward for the medium and probably long term. I mean, this is this is now going to be a trend, I think, for at least, uh, you know, the next year, maybe the next three years. Um, and this is long end of the curve. We're not, we don't touch the reds and the short end. And, um, we just play the long end here. Anyway, not much else to say. Like I said, it's all about the elections. We'll throw some ideas up uh, about um, where to get your information, who to watch this from. We tend to watch uh, a lot of the bookies, the global bookie agencies, and then of course we'll have the TV on, listening to the Muppets yap away um, to get our information. Alright people, good luck out there, and I will see you tomorrow.